Hi guys and welcome back to the kingdom. I hope you guys have had positive and productive weeks this week. So welcome to my first video of 2021. Uh, so as I promised in my last video, um, and as you guys will know if you've been following me for a little bit, I have moved house. Um, and that means that I get a brand new workspace. I finally get a proper desk and proper storage for all of my craft stuff and two beautiful new full height bookshelves for all of my books. No more lining books up along the corridor floor, you know, and, until I run out of room and then I'll be back to doing that. But for the time being, no more lining books up along the floor. So I'm going to insert a clip right now of the before so you guys can see the space and how much junk I've got. Hi guys, uh, so I have just finished like unpacking the rest of the house. So I look like a hot mess and it is really dark out because it is December 21st today. Um, and obviously the house is really echoey because it, like we haven't got loads of furniture yet, it's all just bags. So forgive the quality of this video, but I thought I would just show you guys kind of like the before space that I'll be working with to set up my new writing, reading office space. So as you can see, just everything is in a whole bunch of boxes at the moment. Uh, I've got my old bookshelf, which will probably stay just about there. Um, and then to be honest, like most of these boxes are filled with books or art supplies. I do have like storage solutions coming. Like this is a paper tray. This is an A3 paper tray. But yeah, I thought it would be cool for you guys to see a before shot. Okay, so now you've seen the before space, let me show you what furniture uh, has been introduced. Obviously we've got these two full height bookshelves. Beautiful. We've got my old bookshelf that's currently full of like boxes and stuff that I will be unpacking in this video. And then we've got a new desk, L-shaped. So that's the desk area with my new chair that's gonna like face that way. And then if I bring you guys around. Can you guys see that? There you go, you've got some under desk storage there. So basically I thought I would uh, show you guys um, how I'm going to organize the space starting with setting up my books <laughs> uh, Also, um, I bought the um, fairy loot um, Edition of how the king of Elfame learned to hate stories. It is so beautiful So it is now got you know a beautiful prided position on my bookshelf because it's just oh, So beautiful. So as you guys know, I love decorating my books and I've got a whole bunch of little standy things so for example my uh version of Addie LaRue um kind of really needs to be on a stand so that I can light it up and various things so I thought that this would be a great way because my books you know I paint on my books I do a lot of art on my books it would be quite nice to have these like little stand things to um sort of have them like decorated um so that they're they're I'm showing off my artwork and that way you know I can rotate them around if I've got new favourites or new art out you can actually see it rather than just having it you know put away in the bookshelf I have a lot of room so I think I'm going to prioritise filling this bookshelf over this bookshelf but I do want to keep them both purely for books rather than for um, crafty stuff so I'm going to see if I can go ahead with that i uh, probably going to put all of my Fairy Loot Special Editions here or here, I don't know. Guess we start opening boxes and um, setting them out. Oh, and I got three new books for Christmas. I got, uh, I got a Fable, I got uh, A Deadly Education and I got Damsel. My partner also bought me Scarlet, which is obviously the, sequ uh, the sequel to Cinder. Uh, so I can't wait to get into those. So four books for Christmas very happy. Hi guys, so I have finished uh, unloading my books, as you can see. Lots of room for new books is great because my birthday's in a few weeks so um yeah so now I'm going to try and organize the rest of my stuff 
Wish me luck. So uh, I'll just show you a little bit of an update of the train wreck that is going to be my office bookshelf creative space. Um, so we have filled up the bookshelf a little bit more when I found uh, my Throne of Glass series. Um, and we're starting to make the bookshelf look less like a dump and more like um, an actual space where I can keep creative stuff. It's obviously not all done yet. Um, I've just spent about half an hour putting together these um, A3 paper cutouty things and this is going to be a ribbon holder. Originally I was going to make it for washi tape but it's a bit big and the container I've already got at the moment for washi tape um, seems to be doing pretty well so I think I'll just you know leave that as is. Um, yeah moving <laughs> fun it's a bit chaotic but we are making progress. I've got on the floor these two uh, metal paper holders for different kinds of paper. But yeah, that's kind of where I've got to so far. I'm hoping that with another like big push, I can have it looking like almost there within the next hour. We shall see, we shall see. Also with the like laser cut um, things, I am going to be painting those eventually. Whether I just paint them white or whether I actually like put patterns on them, I have not decided yet. Um, I will probably end up putting patterns on them at some point, um, but whether I go straight in or not, have not decided. Uh, but for the uh, purpose of this video, I will probably just be putting them in plain and then painting them later. So we'll see. Hi guys, uh, we're gonna change the angle a little bit so that you guys can see a little bit better what I'm actually doing in the space. later now and I have finished for the most part uh, organizing my study area um, the only thing I have really left to find a place for um, is this which is my light box where I take photos of my books for Instagram and for Etsy um, the problem is is that you know when it's small like this when it's collapsed down it's tiny uh but when it's big or blown up it's absolutely massive uh, and i can't decide whether i want to store it like this um or in its massive form 
Um, I'll probably end up storing it like that, to be honest. The only thing that makes storing it like this tricky is obviously the light work that you can see there, because uh, the lights can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty much sorted. So why don't I uh, take you on the grand tour? Okay, so uh, these are my bookshelves. So lots of room on there, plenty of room for me to buy lots of new books, which is fantastic. Um, also on here, I've got my work laptop. This is my bullet journal slash planner, um, a pile of notebooks. Um, most of these are actually unused. So um, I have to think of some fun, creative ways to fill these. Uh, I've got some storage boxes down here, if you can see that. Uh, the, this one is full of colouring pencils, this one is currently empty um, but I bought it just because, you know, I know I'm going to need more stuff, I know I'm going to gather more artsy crafty stuff so I've got the two boxes together, then book sleeves and um, then I have my portfolio. So in here, when I paint a book, I take the dust jacket off and I store it in there um, and, you know, I've written some stuff about my artistic process it's kind of like a portfolio in a way um but also a good way to store the dust jackets that i take off my books that's a painting on the top um and also kind of like a sketchbook color paper store so i have a plan to create a sketchbook for the paintings that i do that aren't on books um and it'll involve lots of colored paper but um if you guys are interested in seeing how i'm going to create my own sketchbook um then do let me know and I will share that process with you guys. Uh, what else? So uh, another, the other part of the desk, so if we flip around, so this is all paper store, so this is sticker paper, transfer paper, envelopes, photo paper and card paper down there. Then we've got a drawer filled with odds and ends I think I'll use quite regularly, like my hole punch, fine liners, got white out pens and things like that. So eventually I'm gonna put that in a like a glass, um, or something to hold them um but i don't have anything at the moment so i need to go on amazon and order that and oh down here if we open there top shelf is sort of like sticky things so you've got my acrylics you've got my paints you've got my mod podge you've got uh right at the back uh clay and you've obviously got different types of tape and at the bottom there you can see that's all of my electronic stuff so that's my soldering kit, wires, um, LEDs, all of that sort of good stuff. And in the corner there, um, you can see my ribbons and ribbon clamps and jewellery stuff for um, doing bookmarks on books. And then you've got my A3 paper holder down here, holding, funnily enough, A3 sized paper and card. Um, and this is sort of A3 chipboard. And over there, you've got larger pieces of vinyl, vinyl sheets and transfer paper for larger projects. Got my uh, wrapping paper and fabric in a box at the back um, with a big hole punch. So that's under the desk, which I'm sorry that that was really dark. Um, but um, I'm filming on my phone because I don't have a better camera, so bear with. And then finally, We've got uh, my crafting shelf. So at the top, we've got um, just some you know, stuff. So we've got my writer's uh, and artist yearbook for 2021 because uh, I'm a writer and I'm trying to get an agent. Um, then I've got uh, my silhouette underneath with the tools and stuff around it. Then I've got my storage box for my fabric paints for painting uh my books and this sort of is a storage for general storage like stamps and silhouette holders and as you can see eyelets in there and washi tape and all that sort of so i think i'm gonna get a second one of these just because i filled up this space so quickly that i think i'm going to need a second one and then over in the corner my clamps uh hair dryer for uh book arty stuff and then right at the bottom if you guys can see those are my acrylic paints, my watercolours and brushes right at the bottom. I put them at the bottom because I figured when I use them I'm going to put them on the table anyway. Um, and they're easily grabbable. But I don't sort of need to see that they're there in order to use them. You know, if I'm painting I'm going to need my brushes and I'm going to know where they are. Um, so um, same with my paints, like I'm going to know where they are uh, and I'll put them on the table. 
to use them but yeah that's kind of it for my creative space um i guess this is kind of like an unusual video from me but i figured that you know if you are creating your own um artsy fartsy creative spaces um it might be quite interesting uh for you guys to see if you've got any ideas um also if you have any ideas for um what i can do to be more efficient or beautiful stories wise do let me know um because i have a lot of stuff and it would be nice to be able to have it all in easily accessible places so i can use it regularly like i'm planning on using the fabric and things like that um apart from that uh, i hope you guys have positive and productive weeks i will be back soon with regular book painting videos i plan on doing these violent delights very soon also um the starless sea and a couple of others that uh, i've been drawing on my laptop over the christmas holidays but because we've been moving and because that's been such a long process a surprisingly long process particularly to unpack and order all the furniture um and things like that um i haven't been able to actually physically paint books until i set this up uh so soon i'll be able to get back to actually painting books which will be really fun anyway i will speak to you guys soon have positive and productive weeks and i'll see you next time bye